All right, BuckeyeHuddle.com. We're here with 2025 quarterback Ty Hawkins out of the state of Texas. State of Texas. Uh, really good group of quarterbacks today. What was it like out there, I guess, competing? Uh, this is probably the strongest group of quarterbacks we've seen at Ohio State this For summer. Sure. Yes, sir. Um, this I've been to two camps so far, and definitely this is the great, like the best camp I've been to. With just comp competition, the quarterbacks, the receivers, the DBs, like everybody was really putting in work today. I had a lot of good time. I, I had a really good time. What What brings you up here? Um, Coach Alfred, I talk to him a lot, and I really like him. And then Ohio State is just like a it's a top five program every year. I, I really like it. I have a lot of interest in. It. What was it like working with Coach Dennis, uh, quarterbacks coach? Obviously, um, yes, you know Ohio State's had some successful quarterbacks over the last yeah. few years, to say the least. Yes, um, what were your impressions of working with him today? Um, I had a great time. I think he was he was critiquing like a bunch of little things with me, and I felt like I was really getting coached. But it, it also felt like he, uh, I don't know, I really liked him. Yeah. Yes, he's kind. Of, he's a younger guy. Yeah, for um, sure. I you know, feel not, connected to him. Yeah. Like, yeah. is that is that something that you know, some people might look at that, well, he doesn't have as much experience as some other guys. Yeah. Does that actually help with you guys because he's maybe a little more relatable? I think so. I think so. Like, he's way more, like, it's easier to talk to him, have, like, just, like, a conversation with him. Since he's younger, he, like, understands me better. And so I, I really like that about him. Yes, sir. What were you hoping to show today, and, and, and did you feel you did that? Yes, sir. I was just I was looking to show that I could make every throw on the field and, like, just show off my athleticism. Mm -hmm. I could throw the balls. Also, and then and either Kent I, I State O line coach, Kent State O line GA, to I go inside that, the indoor and find Kayla. Kent yeah, State, we gotta get, we gotta get Tim Hitton Kent off State, any of your coaches are there. Kent State, Can go you? in the indoor, find Kayla, blonde young lady inside. I think I did a pretty good job of showing that I could I could make throws with the best of them, and I, I had a great time. Thank you, Tim Hinton, for that uh, announcement in the middle of our interview. Um, you know, what type of player are you? It looks like you're a, kind of a dual threat, I think, Same. and so you can move around a little bit. You know, what do you, what do you think your best attributes are? I'm a dual threat quarterback, so I can run and throw. But um, I really think that I, I'm a thrower, a natural thrower, and uh, I can throw with the best of them. Um, like I said, I can make it any throw on the field, and I just love to compete. You've, you've noticed Ohio State being a top five program, as you said. Um, is there a guy you've watched at Ohio State? They've had a few come out recently. Is there one you've kind of gravitated towards or anyone you've watched? C.J. Stroud is one of my favorite quarterbacks in this, this Jazz class, and I really like that. Um, they, the last two quarterbacks have got drafted top five, so that's, that's great, like, great news, like, great to hear. Um, it, it attracts me a lot. Um, and then, yeah, CJ Stroud, he's, he's the guy, for sure. Broader scope of your recruitment, you have some offers, right? I so, mean, where's things stand about how many offers you have, or, you know, start there and kind of, you know, where, where you're at with that. I have 13 offers. Um, I just recently visited TCU and SMU. Um, I talked to TCU a bunch. I talked to Texas Tech a bunch. SMU a bunch, they, they love me. Um, and really just trying to keep working, get some more offers. Um, but yeah. I mean, it certainly makes sense why all these Texas schools would be recruiting you. Exactly. You got a long way to go before you have to worry about decisions or anything like that, but would it be difficult to leave the state of Texas or kind of how do you feel about location? I don't I don't really care about location. I, I like all the schools like across America. I don't really care if it's cold, if it's hot. Like I just want to play football. Like um, Oregon offered me and I think I'd go to Oregon even though like it rains a lot, but I mean, Oregon's beautiful. Like, it's a great school, great campus, and I really like the coaches there. You just mentioned Oregon. Are there any other schools that you either have offered or are close to offering that you've built a pretty good connection with so far? Yes, sir. Um, TCU, I talked to a bunch. Like, uh, I really like Coach Bryles there. Um, Texas Tech is also one of the main, main schools that I talked to. Um, I talked to Coach Kitley and Coach Bryant there a whole lot. And then SMU, I talked to Coach Brewer and Co Coach Lashley a whole lot. TCU had that great run last year. Yes, sir. How did that impact, I guess, your perception of that program, if at all? Um, I think I think that was great for them and great for recruiting. Uh, they have a lot of great players over there, and they're, they're definitely going to get some more. Um, 
them going that far in the uh, the championship, I think that was that was great for them, and it attracts me for sure. Any other visits or camps coming up in this month? Yes, sir. On the 17th, I'm going to LSU, and then I think that'll be it for me this summer. All right. Well, good luck at LSU. Yes, Thanks sir. for doing this, and great job today. Yes, sir. Thank you.